Hey everyone, Tech here. Welcome to Tech's Tavern. Grab a brew, pull up a chair, and let's continue our Let's Play on the Endless Space. And this is Season 2.5 Sower Edition, or the Replicator series, as I like to uh, call it. Um, because we are actually playing the Replicators from Stargate. At least that's the way I look at it. Um, so, um, I apologize for the long gap between episodes, but let's go ahead and jump right in without any of that nonsense and BS and all that stuff and get going. Um, one thing I want to look at real quick here is I have a kind of an agenda of a couple things I want to try to do. As you can see though, we're the orange guys here. We're populated like four systems. As I've said before, we're kind of in a bad spot because we're kind of in the gap between these green guys and the wormhole lanes to the other two races, which are in the other half of the galaxy over here somewhere. Um... So, what we're trying to do is I'm trying to kind of reinforce Janus and Libra here, which Libra we have colonized. Right now I have a fleet of four Demotar-class ships sitting there, so it's protected fairly decently. And then I just have a Seeker ship sitting here, which that will let me see what's going on. And it'll also, I think, supposedly, that it keeps, um, or actually that's a factory ship, isn't it? Eh, whatever, that's fine. Um, actually I need to move another fleet there. I think I'm going to move... Oh, I know what I was going to do. I have a fleet of four ships right here that I'm going to move there. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to move that factory ship back to here once I get those over there. So yeah, that's what we want to do. So let's, let's do this. And we'll just leave that one. We're just going to send this fleet of four. So let's create that. And send that guy over there. Okay. And then once they get there, I'll make the factory ship. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fly the factory ship back to Libra, let it sit at a colonized area. And I'm just going to let it sit there and save it for when I have another system I want to colonize. Because I don't think I want to colonize this one. Mm, well, I can get the Hyperium. Medium Arid. Eh, we'll think about that. I don't know that I really want to do that, but we'll see. Um, we have a couple of these other ones colonized, though. Um, we have... Okay, well, what do we got have here? We have just a single Demitar sitting in there, just kind of keeping an eye on things. And that's the one that they, this guy gypped us on. And if you're joining the series late, right now I'm in an alliance with the green guy, which I think we can see by looking at this one. So, the green guy, the uh, pilgrims here, this is us, we're the guys in the middle. The pilgrims here, you can see the smiley face, we're in a neutral relationship with them. This guy here, we've had the amoebas, we've had a little bit of interaction with, and it's not hostile yet, but it, we're going to move in that direction. And then this third guy, we haven't ran into him yet, because he hasn't came through the wormhole. So, the other guy, the amoeba guy, has had a couple ships driving around. He asked for open borders, we said no, um, so that's where we're at on that. So real quickly, actually I think, let's take a look at this view here. Okay, we're in positive on our money, so we're doing good there. Machines know how to make money. Um, and then our systems are overall are pretty content. These guys are a little unhappy, um, but we'll work on that. We, we're trying to colonize in there right now. So we'll see how that goes. I'm, I was just trying to see what we got going on everywhere. Okay, so we have exploitation going on at Rigel. Um, Simi we have. We're colonizing that second planet. Here we're trying to get some more money going on Libra. And then here we're... Okay, we're doing conversion. We're converting industry to money here because that's we were having a money issue. Um, and then we're building ships on our home planet because it can build them really quick. And I don't think we have a need to upgrade our model of ship yet until we start getting some more military builds. Um, okay, right now we're researching this, which is going to allow us to travel the wormholes. It also gives us a little benefit of... Uh, I think it's less... Uh, people don't freak out as much as you colonize further from your home planet. I think that's basically what that does. And then here we have... This will be the next one that pops up, and that's getting lasers and a new armor, depleted armor. So, and they require, okay, this requires Hyperium. Do we have any Hyperium yet? 
Mm, yes, we do. Libra. Okay, yeah, so we are getting Hyperium there. I was going to say maybe that's why we got to colonize that, but no. Oh, you can, you can see the little icons here. That's what I'm looking at for those that aren't familiar with it. So you can kind of see the advantages of what you're getting at certain planets. So, Okay, so I think that's all pretty good. Let's queue up another um, Demitar behind that one. And, okay, Governors, do we want to... Can we hire another one yet? I was talking about getting this guy here. It's 140. No, we're not quite there yet. I was talking about getting... Uh, I want to get that one guy who's good at leading fleets and put him on this uh, four-ship fleet that's sitting at Libra because that's going to be kind of our first line of defense coming through. And so we kind of want to give it our best shot on that first that first battle that comes through the gate and then scramble after that. And I'm just I'm going to build up a little bit of a fleet. Um, I think I'm going to build up some four-ship fleets. I'm going to send this four-ship fleet here, then a four here, four here, four here, and that's kind of the plan. And then and then just go from there, try to maybe upgrade and, and whatnot. So let's go ahead and intern and see what kind of shenanigans pop up on the next turn. Not many shenanigans. Yes. Continue to build. Okay, here we go. First contact. We have encountered the sowers. Oh my god. There's two races of replica <laughs> replicators. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ah, yeah. The other guys are sowers too. Excellent. That's them right there. Blue. Okay. Well, we're not going to be friendly with them. Because replicators can't be friendly with other replicators that were made by a different master. Um, right. Let's move our ships, which is just basically that one. Now, I'm one, I got this guy, the seeker, back here with the good visual range. I got him sitting back there. Um. I'm wondering if it wouldn't be more useful to put them on this one because the reach would then be that back side plus this lane. It would let me see a little bit better. I don't need to see over here. So I think I'm going to move him. Well, see, that actually cuts it off, doesn't it? Hmm. Uh, that's okay. We'll leave him there for now. We don't have a ship sitting on this empty planet, and I don't know if that turns into that pirate issue with that. Um, well, that guy's there. I don't need to, this guy to sit here, so let's move that guy around to there. That's fine. And then that takes care of that problem. Um, let's go ahead and end one more turn. So, yeah, somebody was asking me while I'm kind of doing... And the stuff I'm doing here, I'm not going to explain. I'm going to talk about some other crap <laughs> for a second because you, I've already explained for the last five minutes what I'm doing here, so you guys should kind of be up to speed. Actually, we have... Alright, is the other guys there? No, they're still... Okay. They will be there now. Got it. And then we're going to take Delta, which is the factory ship, and we're going to move it back over here. Okay, so anyway, somebody was asking me the other day, because I've made some of the Stargate references during this series, um, Amoeba Open Borders, no, for the third time, I think, um, asked me about the Stargate, if I really watched the series and fan of it, yes, and I, I can say that wholeheartedly in that I am... I have watched all ten seasons of the first Stargate series, SG-1, and actually own all of them on DVD, and I watched all of Stargate Atlantis, and I watched um, that entire series, and I watched all the movies for both Stargate series. Uh, the second one they made one, the first one I think they made two, so I've watched the all the movies, so yeah, I've seen all the Stargate stuff, and I'm definitely a huge fan. Um, of all that. Now, the Stargate um, Universe one, I didn't really watch much. I started watching the first season of that and just couldn't get into it. I think that's kind of why it ended after, like, what, two seasons? 
because I think a lot of people couldn't get into it. Um, okay, we need to... Let's just go ahead and put a couple more in the queue there. Dismiss. Move ships. Okay, yeah, we'll slowly get those guys over here. I don't... Let's quit. Every planet has something going on still, right? Four more, three more. Now, you know what? Over here, I'm wondering... I'm wondering if I could instead change... Uh, I wonder if I could do this instead. Okay, we get no profit if I do that. But it's only for three turns, and then I will have more industry. And then I can turn it back on again. I think that's what I'm going to do. Because see, what I'm doing is I'm converting 25% of 20, so 5, and that's why we were getting the plus 5 uh, income, pretty much. If, but if I train this, it goes up for, in three turns. It'll go up to 30 plus 1. So it should go to 31. Then I can do it again, and I'll be making more money per turn in the conversion. So that's kind of why I'm doing that. At least, at least I think that's how it works. We'll see how smart or stupid I am here in three turns, I guess. So let's go ahead and close that. Um... So anyway, yeah, like I was saying, I uh, I definitely am a fan of the Stargate series and have enjoyed it. Um, I've actually watched the entire uh, Stargate SG-1 series. I think I've kind of watched through the whole series like one and a half times. And actually that was one of the things I was just getting ready to start doing here again is I think I'm going to go and I'm going to go back and watch the entire ten seasons again. <laughs> I think I'm going to go back and watch the whole series because I just really enjoy it. And it's one of those series too that I'm pretty sure if I go back and watch through the whole series again, there will probably be little things that I didn't pick up on that I'll pick up on that I didn't pick up on the first time through. And I just love the way they kind of, the whole series, It was I've always thought it was ingenious how they twisted the, the kind of the lore of the you know the ancient Egyptian gods and all that and it, that it was actually aliens and you know all it just it was a really cool way they they did it and I just I always loved the series okay so we finished the agencies for money there and okay we're doing the satellite for the influence that's on where Libra okay yeah yeah excellent that's what I wanted okay and then we got the ships yes excellent continue uh oh here we go. Game event. The call of distant constellations. You have discovered the technology required to safely traverse the wormholes that link constellations. Which brave captain will discover what lies beyond and what riches or horrors await them? Um, well, sowers and amoebas await them. So I kind of figured that out already. Okay, and then we'll continue on with that. Technology. Once we get a couple more... I'd like to get at least one more good military one, and then go about up do it, then do an upgrade. Um, and I'd kind of like to have two classes of ships. I'd like to have one class of ships that's using like kinetics weapons, um, and then I'd like to have one class of ships that use like laser or missiles, because then that way you kind of are in the battles taking advantage of. Uh, deficiencies on defense by the other guys. Um, so let me try to... I think this one here, what is this? Times two critic multiplier. Shouldn't that be a critical multiplier? Mm, I don't know. Let's train that one next because it's only five turns. So we'll highlight that one and then once these in nine turns when these both finish we'll do some ship building. That's kind of my plan right now. Let's move these. This guy's still making his way around. I guess he look uh, look we already got a look there's a pirate ship right there. 585. Mm. <laughs> so well, when this finishes I may have to send these four over to here to take care of the pirate issue possibly. Yeah. Let's intern and see how that pans out. 
That pirate ship may jump that one ship I'm sending around and kill him. We'll do one more. And then we will create. Dismiss. Okay, they actually got through. These four go that way. Let's end another turn. See if, uh, see if we engage. I didn't actually check the strength of those ships. Of mine, that is. 564. 585. Yeah. I may actually be at a disadvantage. And see, it looks like the pilgrims, it looks like they had the same idea. It looks like he moved one ship over here to sit. Okay, Rigel, we finished with that. Um... Okay, we have this one planet colonized. We need the population to go up a bit. Let's do the, um... Eight turns. Twenty turns. Eight turns. On ocean. Because it's an ocean, medium ocean. The only one I get the benefit from is this one. Mm, boy, I don't know if that's worth it for eight turns, though. Cost of six. Hmm. I don't know if that's worth it. Um. Do that and then convert. If I convert this, I'll get two. What's our money at right now? Minus three. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert on this right now. Just for a few turns to get ourselves from going in the hole. And then when that other one finishes, I'll switch it back. Which one was it? Was it... Oh, this was the one that was doing it. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah, there we go. 35, right? Yeah, that's what we were talking about before. Okay, so it's up to 35 now. So now if I do and turn this back on, we'll be in good shape. So what was the other one that I did that on? No. Dang it. Was it Rigel? Yeah. Oh, uh, dang it. Left click. Um... Let's do that and see if we can grow the population, I guess. Okay, and that puts us back at plus six for now. We'll see how that changes over the next turn or so. I'll dismiss. Okay, now these guys are here. Now let's in turn and see what happens, because I think we're getting ready to get into an issue with this guy blockading here. We'll build one more. I, you know, I keep saying that, right? Amoeba reviews. I'm going to attack enemy fleets. Wait a second. Before I do that, do I have just enough to... hire this guy and put him in charge of that fleet, maybe? I have barely enough. Which fleet is that? Zeta. Hmm. 
Zeta. Okay, hopefully I don't waste him right here. <laughs> Let's go ahead and try this. Alright, we should get some bonuses from having him as a fleet commander versus just these stupid pirate ships. So we're going to... Adaptive strategy, I guess, first. iffy so far. Oh, my missiles just annihilated him. Did you see that? See, he had no defense to missiles. And it took a second there for all my missiles. Flight time. Because all these Demitar classes are outloaded with the missiles. They just freaking one-shotted them dudes. That was awesome. Okay. Um, yes. We only lost 104 hit points and did 1769. That's awesome. And look at that, he leveled up. Yeah, yeah. All right, you know what you're doing. Um, we're going to put offense first. Excellent. All is going according to our simulation plans. Okay, so look here. Here we go. We have this guy colonizing. The amoeba guy is colonized. So I'm sitting there with those four ships there, four ships back over here. Got four ships sitting back over here. Let's move these guys now. Um, let's move these guys to Libra, the one with the commander. And then after we get him there, we'll move these guys back to here. And then we almost have our home system. We've got two, so those will be done in a minute. Okay. And then how's our monies and positive? Everything's being built. That's fine. Right. Okay, and then... So we got one more turn on that research. And then we'll move on to the next one. Okay, I need two more. On that one right and then the research we finished the um, the lasers and all so now that's the kinetic one that's fine okay pilgrims <sighs> what They want titanium 70. Ay, and they're not giving me anything in return. That's just... <sighs> hmm. You know, this is one of them situations where I know there's probably some of you that are watching and saying, no, don't do that, screw that. But I, for the purposes of this playthrough that I'm doing, I'm going to... And I want to see how it turns out is I'm going to do everything I can to keep the pilgrims at peace. I'm going to try to stay friends with them by doing everything that I can possibly do and fight the other two guys. So I'm going to go ahead and accept it for now. Because I kind of just want to see as a test. I kind of want to see... I, I haven't really done that in a game of this yet, so I'm kind of just curious to see how it all evolves through the course of the game. 
So let's go ahead and go here through another one real quick. Excellent. Continue to build. Okay, those guys are there. So let's take... Which one is it? It's this one here. Because that's the one with the commander. This is the uh, factory, and then this is the one without the factory. And we're going to move them back to Ald Aldebaran. And they're going to sit there as a defense. Okay. And kind of my goal is, is to have a little four-ship fleet sitting at each one of my systems. Then we're going to do the upgrade here after that other military research ends. And then I'm going to go and slowly go through and upgrade those fleets instead of, you know, leaving them. You know, you can actually upgrade those individual fleets. I have one guy sitting here to watch this. Eventually we can get some ships here because it looks like we're having a pirate issue, actually. Yes. It's a single ship, though. So, actually, we're going to run these guys out here. And take care of that. And then we need to station a ship sitting back there. Um, yeah. I wonder if I could just build one here. Well, we just want to finish that. Then no, let's just leave that. I'll run these guys down here, beat that guy up. Then I'll get one ship and send it to sit out here, I guess, so that we don't keep getting pirates from the backside. We'll, we'll take care of that. Let's go one more turn here. Okay, so we got our four there. Um, and we can just go ahead and create that, and they're just going to pretty much sit there. Okay, oh, one other thing we needed to do. Damn it. Forgot about this. Sorry. Um, I needed to colonize another one here because we're at max cap. we got to get another planet colonized in here. I guess I'm going to do this one, even though it has the penalty on it. I think I'm going to go ahead and do this one anyway. Two turns, 56. Yeah, we're going to do that. We need to get that system is is booming, and we need to get more colonized in there. So, okay, and then here on Libra, I'd like to get some more money going. They're happy right now, so that's fine. Population could stand to grow. Um, let's just for a couple turns though convert because we were in the negative let's just convert there for a few turns okay let's do one more here okay Game event. If it was easy, it wouldn't be interesting. Congratulations on the first settlement on an advanced and difficult planet type. It is a doorway to greater riches and, of course, greater risks. Okay, so that was for... Um, oh, that was the other one on here. Okay, we gotta get an exploita exploitation for this one. Um, which I guess we need to do the food to grow the population. We gotta get that supermarket done for the approval rating there. Okay, they're almost there. Lores. It only takes three turns. We'll get that up. That's fine. What's our money? Plus seven. That's good. All right. We're looking pretty good. Um, okay. Our ship captain, just for driving around, he's getting upgrades. Um, plus 
plus 25% critical chance on players' missiles. It sounds good. Let's miss that. Offer peace. Refuse! There shall be no peace. Not while you're blockading one of my systems, you jerk hole. Thirty-four, yeah, no. And we're gonna auto resolve this one because it's just one ship. Okay, we won. Get off our damn planet. Like I said, I'm taking a total war stance with these other guys. Um All right, we got to get over here and get that pirate taken care of. Okay, well, I think we'll end this episode right there. Um, but we did have some interesting stuff there. We are starting to try to expand a little bit. We are starting to get into it with some of these guys. Um, on the next episode, we will map out our research plan. Uh, so I'm going to spend a little bit of time mapping out because we're starting to get into the research areas where it takes a little bit more time and there's some key ones I'm probably missing that I need to hit so I need to spend a little bit of time on that. Um, I need to get down here take care of these pirates, sit a ship out here to stop that. And then we just need to continue to build up our defenses like here on Libra in particular. Um, and then decide what we want to do about these guys because... Actually let's look at our... We have the down arrow. See, so we're not exactly the amoeba guys here. We're not, I mean, they're not fighting us here. Do I, I think I might have accidentally did, like, open borders with them or something. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um... Mm-hmm. Okay, status, peace. Okay. Hmm. Score-wise, I think we're losing, <laughs> but that's probably to be expected. So anyway, on the next episode, we will continue to build our defenses up and just see how hard they bring it to us, and we'll go from there. But thank you for watching. There will be another episode. I promise to have it a lot quicker this time than the last time, and we will continue because I really do want to get through this game, even if it's a loss within another, you know, say, 30, 40 turns or something. So then I kind of have a better feel of how some of these uh, diplomatic um, options and mechanics work. So then we can kind of then, on the next series, I, I do plan to do another series after this, probably with a different race or something, and, um, you know, make it a little more of an epic one, whereas this one is a little bit more of a learning one, so... But we will, we will carry that on at the next one. So anyway, that's it for this episode. I will see you on the next one.